Hey there everybody and welcome back to part 2 of the 49 coup. Uh, we're gonna start reassembling this baby. Uh, we finished up part 1. We finished up all the detail stuff and put all the suspension and brakes back together. So if you haven't seen part 1, definitely go back out and check out part 1. And uh, hit that subscribe button guys if you're, if you're hanging out and checking out the video. Subscribe for me man. And uh, we're going to jump into this. We're going to tackle this engine. We're not going to do anything super fancy with it. Uh, we're mainly just going to just overhaul it. You know what I mean? We're going to try and just repair what we can of it. And uh, just make a good running engine out of it. So let's drop the cam and the crankshaft in. And then, you know what? I don't know if I bought pistons and rods and stuff, man. We'll double check real quick. Nope, I gotta buy a few things. I forgot about some of this stuff already, but we'll get it done. All right, I think I got quite a bit of the stuff we need here to get this going. Uh, we'll smack this out real quick. But yeah, we're just doing regular, regular pistons and uh, stuff like that. We're not doing anything. We're not really gonna do any performance stuff on this. I think uh, we're just gonna just keep it pretty original. But the car is going to look pretty sweet, though. So hopefully it looks good and comes together sweet. But I haven't done a build uh, where I haven't, like, used any performance parts in a while. And I always put something on it. I mean, we could put a cam in it or something, maybe? If you guys would like to see a cam in it. But, I mean, I wasn't really going to put anything on it, so I don't know. I think we're just going to keep it original, guys. I don't want to have to go buy more crap. I should have most of the stuff to keep it original anyways, except for the stuff that didn't, didn't get repaired or I broke trying to repair it, so it shouldn't be too bad. I can't see anything. i got to change camera view here but yeah this engine's pretty basic to build it's nothing it's nothing super fancy the push rods and rockers are the most annoying part <laughs> because they take forever but other than that it's not that bad Uh, that's it. Uh, we'll put the oil filter on while it's upside down. And then let's flip this baby over and do the other side. But it's looking pretty sweet already. I just, I love V8s, man. So simple. Uh, let's drop the heads on it here. There we go. We'll drop the plugs in here. And we'll do the manifold. Why not? Got plenty of those. Alright, let's jump over to the other head here. Smack this one on. Get her bolted down on this baby. And then we'll do the plugs again. Uh, but I will be having some more content coming, guys. Some some, some different games and things coming here soon. Uh, just bear with me. Um, just starting out and all this crap, so I'm trying to get things figured out. I have other games I can play. It's just my computer doesn't handle them very good, so I've been kind of holding off on playing them until I get some better computer hardware. So until that happens, uh, I'll probably be just playing the games that my computer can run pretty good and record for now. And uh, But in due time soon, I will definitely be uh, hooking the setup up here, and we'll be able to do 
some much better gaming and I'll have some, some pretty cool content coming for you guys. Uh, but let's keep rolling here on this B8. It's going pretty smooth so far. I'm dreading the uh, rockers and push rods, but we're about to work our way up there right now. Might as well get it done, finish sealing up the top of the engine here. But here we go, let's get it done. it for the top side here she's pretty much sealed up except for the carb uh, we'll go ahead and do this uh, distributor and cap and rotor stuff get this out the way oh I got a good distributor cap but like I said we're just going original on this baby it's gonna be classic it's gonna be looking good um, hopefully the wheels look good like I said I think I was gonna try and go with them old Viper wheels but I don't know what it's going to look like, guys. The wheels from the Viper back here. Uh, we're going to try and put those on this car. <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we are definitely going to try that. I like doing crazy stuff like that because you never know. I've come up with some pretty cool looking stuff before by doing stuff like that. So we're going to continue this, though. It is almost complete down to the fan here. And then all we got to do is the carb and the air filter stuff, and it is ready to go. So here's the carburetor. Let's drop it on. We got two. I only need one, but there we go. And then we'll put this air filter base on. Hopefully I have all this stuff ready to go. Oh, we need a filter, guys. A filter. Let me get this filter and then uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, I got that filter here. Let's get this on. I just bought a performance filter. So that's the only thing performance on it, guys. So don't hate me, but that's it. There it is. The red air filter, man. That's the only performance part she's got. But other than that, it is assembled, ready to go back in the car. Damn, it's looking good. All right, I haven't seen a base engine in a while. Usually they're all shiny and performance parts and stuff all over it. But dang, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, but now we can just drop it in. So let's drop this baby in. Uh, let's move this over here. It's doing this weird thing again. Uh, install. There it is. Let me get this out of the way because it looks ridiculous. <laughs> and there it is, guys. It is back in there. So all we got to do now is hook up the clutch stuff and the transmission and the drive line. And I got to get some exhaust pipes, I believe. And it's done. Underneath, anyways. So let's see. I don't know. I don't think I have flywheel stuff. Yeah, I got to get some clutch parts and stuff. So let me do that really quick. All right, we got this flywheel stuff here. Let's get all this stuff strapped back on. And this baby's going to be finished up nice, man. It should uh, should run good. And uh, We don't want to put a performance pressure plate on there, do we? No, not really. Um, but yeah, it'll make somebody happy. We'll probably just sell it. I might keep it for a little while. I don't think we'll sell it right away. Because uh, I'd like to put this and the Tucker side by side when they're complete and kind of check that out, see what they look like. 
two pretty cool looking cars so but I will have to sell them eventually I'll probably sell these two together and maybe we'll see how much we can make off of both of them see which one's worth more but I think the Tucker is worth more guys honestly so um, I cannot see the oh my gosh there we go I had to reposition myself because I couldn't reach these bolts there we go now we're right in the middle we should be able to get it there we go and then uh, I went ahead and got all the pipes and stuff ready to go also so we'll just smack all this stuff on and we'll be done underneath here and we got to drop some oil in it too do, do not want to forget to put oil in this damn thing I should start putting oil in them right after I drop them in <laughs> Once the engine is in, put oil in it. There we go. Full exhaust. Ready to go. Done. Alright guys, we can lower it down and... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and put some oil in it right now. Yeah, yeah, you like that stuff. That's that's probably plenty. Uh, we can let's pull the dipstick. Why not? I've been doing that lately. Bam! Almost on the money. Almost. That's close enough. Good enough for me. All right. So right now, what we should do is put this stuff back in it. Battery, we gotta have that and the rad, the radiator. Bam! And I think that's everything under here. Her shoes ready to rip. Alright, so wheels and tires, guys. Uh, like I said, we're gonna use the Viper wheels from the Dodge Viper. And uh, hopefully they look pretty good. I don't know. But here we go. I got some white wall tires for them. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just gonna go with the. Uh, wait, what? Why am I missing a tire? Did I, I think I bought one in the wrong size. 205. I think we're going with a 215. So I might have to buy a tire. So there we go. Dodge Viper wheels with white walls. <laughs> uh, yes. And then we're going with the 215. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how I have a 205 6018 and not a 215. It's kind of odd. I'll get a tire here in a second. Let me grab that tire. Just do a real quick like. Vintage tire, one eighteen inch. 215 60 Bam there we go Now we can just keep it rolling Yeah, these things better look good on here The freaking white walls off-centered Oh hell no, I can't do that. It looked like my wheels are all wobbling down the street and shit. <laughs> Alright, last one. Let's get her done. There's the Carrera looking pretty sweet over there. We got the Dodge Vibe, finally. 
Been wanting that vibe for a while. Alright, that's it. Moment of truth, guys. Uh, you're probably not even going to see them in the back, honestly. Because they're... Uh, covered by the car, so I doubt we'll even see them in the back. Yep. <laughs> so in the front, though, they might look pretty sweet. I hope they look good. I don't know. The outline of it looks pretty cool. Pretty gangsta already. Let's get this back one mounted up. Oh, I did it again. I can't, can't reach it. <laughs> there we go, guys. The wheels and tires are on. Oh shit! Yeah, baby. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and kill it. We'll drop it down. Damn. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I'll admit. Just for having some wheels laying around. I'll take that any day, I guess. Let's move it over here. And let's try and assemble the uh, body stuff. I think I gotta get some glass. But, for the most part, she should be ready to go. We got the flamed out hood. I'll probably need headlights too, I think, guys. Headlights and glass and taillights, I think. We can double check, but... Oh, no, they're good. 100%. Ah, oh, so we need a left headlight. <laughs> Dang it. And glass. Okay, there we go. So I need left headlight and some glass. Alright, let's see. We got that left headlight now. And we should have all the glass. Dang thing. Oh man, come on. Okay, front glass. Side glass. Rear window. But yeah, all we gotta do is some interior stuff now. And uh, we'll try and fire it up. Let's get these seats in here. We got some we got some we got some pretty sweet sweet seats. Sweets. Some pretty sweet seats. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and then I bought this chain steering wheel. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Let's try and fire this baby up. Hopefully it starts. Yes, she fired up. Dang, it's looking pretty good though. I like it, I like it. All right, let's paint this baby. We gotta get rid of this purple crap. So we're gonna move it and paint it. And then, and I guess we can dyno it, why not? I mean, we'll just see what it, see what it makes. I think I gotta put plates on it too, guys. Crap. Uh, I was thinking about just going black with this one. Um, you know, I don't know why not. Black it out. Deliveries. All right, but yeah, it looks good black. I don't know. Why not? Black and chrome. Tan interior. With the flames. 
The Mercury, baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's paint it up. There we go. She black. Alright, it needs plates. Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, front and back plates. So it needs two plates. Uh, let's take a look at some plates. Alright, we got these plates here. Uh, let's see what we got. Bam. 49 Merc. That's right. 49 Merc. There we go. Now she's all outfitted up, ready to go. I think if we look at the stats, yep, everything is 100%, guys, ready to go. And she's worth 91,000. Restoration bonus at 18,000. So, I mean, it's not. It's okay. A little over 100,000. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and just dino this puppy. Just, just because. I mean. What is wrong with this? There we go. Move the car to the dyno. We'll see how much this little one carb V8 overhead valve makes. I don't know. But the wheels, guys, they look pretty cool, don't they? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Viper wheels. I don't know. At least they're gone. I didn't have to sell them or throw them away. So, But let's do it. Let's run it. I think it looks bitching. But uh, 269 is the magic number to beat. <laughs> it made 272, guys. Yeah. That's probably that, uh, that measly little air filter I put in there. I gave it like, I don't know, three or four more horse. Not too bad. But there you go. There you go. There's the Merc Coop, guys. Uh, let's move it back over to the showroom floor here. The showroom floor. The garage floor. Let me shut this door. But there's the 48, or 48, 49. That's the 49 Mercury 8 Coop Lowrider. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think it turned out pretty sweet. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the car, the wheels, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the Restoration Garage, guys. And uh, if you like this video, man, hit that like button for me. And, uh, you know, if, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, guys. But uh, until the next episode, we'll see you very soon. Take it easy.